Hey guys, I'm Patrick Hall with fstoppers.com and today I'm going to show you a very inexpensive way to do a simple beauty shot. We're going to use one, two, three, and then build it up to four lights in total. So a lot of photographers, when they get into the studio, they start to have this mindset that they need the most expensive gear. They need tons of studio lights, they need tons of modifiers, and the reality is that's simply not true. And so today we're going to do this whole shoot with speed lights and we're gonna use the F-Stoppers flash disc as the main modifier for this beauty shot. So let's get into this. I have Brittany here, she's gonna be our model today. And I have one of these really inexpensive young new flashes. It's basically like an SB910 or a Canon 580. And I've hooked that up with a pocket wizard both on the camera and the flash so that I can remotely trigger it. But that's pretty much the entire setup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have this light boomed up here right above Brittany. I'm gonna take a test shot and show you what a hard light source would look like straight on her face. And you can see from this shot, it's, it's not horrible light. I definitely could work with this, but this is much more of a fashion shot and not a beauty shot. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is soften the light up so that we get nice beauty light falling on her, but I still want it to have some direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a flash disc, which is a portable, small little modifier directly on the speed light, and it's gonna change the look of light falling on her face completely. So this is the F-Stoppers flash disc. Lee and I actually invented this as a portable uh, light modifier. We use this a lot at weddings and for product shoots and stuff. But you can actually use it here in the studio for beauty shots. So I'm just gonna take this out. This thing just pops open like this. And basically the flash is going to fit inside this modifier. So the idea is the flash is going to fire inside the flash disc. It's gonna illuminate the entire surface and then fall on our model. So we're basically taking a small light source, the front of the speed light, and making it about a 12 inch sphere, which is gonna be a lot more flattering. And basically this light modifier is going to look a lot like a beauty dish in terms of size and catch light in the model's eyes. And so for this shot, I want the light to be coming down perfectly even on her face. So I'm going to position this light so that it's directly in front of her nose. I don't want it to be off to the side at all. And I think we're good there. And so this power, I'm at 1 32nd uh, on the flash, and I'm shooting at like F5.6, so I have a little bit of depth of field. And let's go ahead and take this test shot here. And Brittany looks straight ahead, perfect. So as you can see, the, uh, the shadows are being cast straight down. I've positioned the light in a way that there's a, a little shadow under the nose and then there's a little shadow under the chin. Uh, compared to the previous shot, you can see that I've cleaned up the background. I don't have any shadow falling on the background. So I have this nice middle gray look. Um, it looks great. I think this is a very cool looking shot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a large silver reflector under Brittany so that we can get the shadow to open up a little bit more and start making this look a little bit more like a traditional beauty shot. So I have a table that I've built here. I like to be able to put my reflector on something without having my model have to do any work. So I'm just gonna prop up this silver reflector. You can get these things for pretty cheap. And basically this is just going to throw some light from the key light back up under her chin and just kind of open the shadows up. So let's go ahead and try this and see how this looks. And you can see that's opened up a lot of the shadows and it's starting to give a really flattering look on her face and it looks a lot more like uh, a beauty shot that you would see in a magazine. So as you can see, this shot looks great and you might be thinking this is exactly the stopping point. You know, this is where I want to be and you could retouch this and make this look killer. I'm gonna go one step further. I wanna edge out the side of her face a little bit. So I'm gonna use two more speed lights with two more flash discs just to give a softer light on the side of her face. And let's see if we can't rim out her shoulders and just kind of the edges of her cheeks. Basically what I have here is I have a Nikon, this is an SB800. I'm just gonna set this up about here. I want the uh, light just at shoulder height so that it's hitting both the side of her face and her shoulder. And here's another Nikon light. This is the uh, SB80DX. This is actually an older flash. So what's nice about this, uh, the flash discs is you can use a bunch of different uh, flashes in them. They should fit all other brands and manufacturers. Set that up about there. And the power on these things, let's set them to 1 16th. 
We'll set this to 1 16th as well. I've set these two flashes to SU4, which is the optical mode. So I'm using a pocket wizard to fire the key light, but then these flashes are going off uh, just by seeing the light from, from the key light. And this is really easy to do in the studio because you don't have any other flashes going off. You can be in complete control of your lighting without having to have a bunch of pocket wizards. And with these kickers, you really wanna make sure that you fiddle with them so that you get the light falling exactly where you want it. Right now in some of these test shots, I'm getting a little bit of spill on her cheek and I really only want it on the furthest part of her, uh, her jawline. So I'm gonna move these back just a little bit. And so just so you guys can see what these kickers are gonna do, I'm going to turn this light really low and just have the key light barely filling in so you can see the effect of these kickers. So here's a shot that's a little bit underexposed for a beauty shot, but you can really see what the kickers are doing to edge her out. I'm gonna turn my key light back up. I'm gonna go up to an eighth power so that it's the correct exposure. And this shot looks great. Three lights, one from the front, two from the back, and then just a little fill from up underneath. I think with a little retouching and working with Brittany to get the perfect look, this is gonna be a killer shot. So one last thing I wanna do is I wanna change the color of the background. A lot of beauty shots have a really blown out look and that's going to help pull in the kicker lights to make it look a little more natural. So what I'm going to do is set up one final speed light. I have an SB910, and I'm just gonna fire this straight into our psych wall so that it goes completely white. A lot of times when I'm setting up my background light, I like to hide it directly behind my model. And so with one speed light, that's going to allow me to fire right behind her and illuminate the entire background. If you had multiple flashes, you might be able to point them in different directions to make the light a little more even. But for a beauty shot, I really just need to blow out a very small little area. So for this, I'm gonna set this to uh, an eighth power as well. And let's do a test shot to make sure that I have the background white, but not too white. So here you go. This is kind of the final shot with the blown out background and the kicker lights edging her out. Those blend together really well. And then we have the, uh, the key light just with the flash disc and it looks really nice with just a little fill from the silver reflector. I think this looks awesome with some retouching. This is gonna be a killer shot. So I think this shot looks awesome. And for a lot of people, this is kind of the final, final result, but I wanna change it up just a little bit more. I'm going to take this background light on a stand and move it. And I'm going to actually change the throw of the speed light so that I get a hot spot. And just by moving the speed light and the stand around, I'm going to change the background look entirely. So I've changed the angle that the flash is hitting the background. I've changed the beam from being 24 uh, millimeters wide to being 200 millimeters, which is going to make a hot spot. And I'm just gonna change that throw and the position to see if I can get some different background lights on this shot. So there you have it, guys. I think this shot is my personal favorite of the whole shoot. You could stop at any point. You could use one light, you could add the kickers, you could blow out the background, you could leave the background gray. It really doesn't matter, but the whole point is to show that you can do really cool studio shots with minimal gear. I know these speed lights you can get on Amazon for like $70, so you could buy a whole kit for less than 300 bucks. And the flash discs, I mean, they're $50 each, and they just allow you to change the shape of your light enough to where you can get a really cool look without having to have huge soft boxes. So I hope that demystifies the beauty shot in the studio. If you want more tutorials and behind the scenes videos, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you're interested in picking up a few of these flash discs, you can find those at fstoppers.com slash store. If you enjoyed this photography related video, check out some of our other photography tutorials and behind the scenes videos here. And please feel free to subscribe to the official F-Stoppers YouTube channel below.